गुरु महाराज की जय हो जय सीताराम रिवोती स्वागतम वेलकम बैक टू सूर्योदय मॉर्निंग साइन वीडियो एंड टीवी जागृति वीडियो श्री पनशिव जनक महाराज रिवोतीज अनदर ब्यूटीफुल वीक अ फेस्टिव वीक एज वी ऑल स्टार्ट अवर वीक इन अ वेरी फेस्टिव वे वंस अगेन ऑन मंडे गो ऑन यू ऑल वर ऑफ सेलिब्रेटेड योर श्री कृष्ण जन्म अष्टमी वेरी ब्यूटीफुल नाइट ऑफ कोर्स वे वी गेव ऑल टू भगवान श्री कृष्ण the only protector that we have in this world are devotees how do we know this <coughs> you see there are many festivities within this period of the chaturmas that we are and will be observing and that krishna janam ashtami we will remind it yada yada hi dharmasya glani bhavati bharata abhyutanam adharmasya तरात्मनम श्री जामय भगवान श्री कृष्ण प्रमिसेज वे एवर वेन एवर दे इज अ डिक्लाइन इन राइचस प्रैक्टिस ओ डिसेंडेंट ऑफ भारत एंड ए प्रिडोमिनंट राइज ऑफ ई रिलीजन आर धर्म दे रिवोटीज एट दैट टाइम आई विल डिसेंड माई सेल्फ एंड सो भगवान मेक्स दैट प्रमिस टू अस एंड he has made that promise to us and whenever that condition is there bhagwan takes avatar yes devotees so we all know that next week on next week thursday we will be beginning the ganesh utsav that very very big festive time here in trinidad and around the world however we will also next week wednesday be celebrating a very very auspicious day as well as we have mentioned bhagwan shri vishnu and the promise that he has made wherever whenever there is a a prize of unrighteousness and a decline of righteousness there he will take of the tarde devotees which form let us listen to this beautiful stotram it's called the shri vishnu shodash naam stotram 16 names of bhagwan shri vishnu now I'll give you a hint the jayanti of one of the avatars of bhagwan shri vishnu will be in this stotram there devotees so listen carefully as we take a guess so we take the blessings of bhagwan shri vishnu by calling these names there you could tell you how very auspicious it is to have these names recited and played in your home so raise the volumes on your ra- on your radios and on your tv we bless your homes by listening to these 16 names of bhagwan shri vishnu prem se bolo shri vishnu bhagwan ki jai ho Oh, Shri Vishnu Bhagwan ki jai! How very beautiful, very good. As you have blessed your homes, as we have listened to the Sodash Nam Stotram, very good. Is of Bhagwan Shri Vishnu, and I said that these names, these auspicious names of Bhagwan Shri Vishnu, should be chanted during the day while you do your various activities, very good. Is we say chant the name of Bhagwan every moment that you get, very good. Is so that if it happens to be your last moment, we know the Lord. of last thought there the good is when you think of bhagwan you will of course attain moksha liberation so it is said that shri vishnu sodash naam stotram which you just listen to invokes and recalls and retains remembers the 16 names of bhagwan shri vishnu when he is placed in any situation when we are placed in any situation we should remember those names there the good is as they have solved so many problems and by meditating on those various names so i have told you that next week wednesday we will be celebrating or observing the jayanti of one of those most auspicious names there it would be that bhagwan shri vishnu is known by in one of the lines you would have heard jal madhye varaham which says varaha struggles in the water as he saves planet earth the devotees with and so there is a katha to go with that so bhagwan shri vishnu as we all know we can go back it is written in shri ramayan katha and many of the puranas the devotees where we all know of jay and vijay those two dwarpal those two doorkeepers 
of Vaikunt and where Bhagwan Sri Vishnu their devotees one day when the four mind born sons of Brahmaji they visited and they were not allowed they cursed Jay and Vijay to be born on earth as demons as they act like demons in the heavenly regions however they were also blessed that their curse can be eradicated only if Bhagwan Sri Vishnu himself comes to free them from their earthly demonic bodies their devotees and we all know that through time they had three births they chose their devotees one of them the very first ones however was that of Hirnaksh and Hirnakashipu two very the demons that prayed and they got Siddhis their devotees so showing us that even the even minded ones know that you have to pray to seek a blessing so i hope all of you good devotees out there know that anything is possible any calm any desire that you have can be achieved through concentration working hard and praying their devotees so they worked hard they prayed they were blessed However, we know that no one can be immortal and this is what most demons ask for their devotees. So Hiranaksh, it is said that brother, he manifested the evil thoughts and he caused half up through all the universe. The elder brother and then of Hiranakashipu, we all know Hiranakashipu and we'll hear more about him when that time comes out. Today we are speaking about his elder brother Hiranaksh and Hiranaksh, their devotees, he prayed to Lord Brahma and he was blessed so that he cannot be killed by, of course by anyone else but Bhagwan. And so Hiranaksh, he caused havoc around the entire world. He caused distress to even the gods, their devotees. And it is said that he took Bhum Devi, the earth, planet earth, from where it was situated in the creation and he moved it away to drown it in the sea their devotees in the ocean where the life will be ended their devotees and so Bhumata having kidnapped Bhumata and took away all the devatas they went to Bhagwan Sri Vishnu we went to Lord Brahma to find out a solution. The what is when we have difficulties in our lives, who do we turn to? We should turn to our gurus, we should turn to Bhagwan. Be careful where you go with your problems. And so they turn to Bhagwan Sri Vishnu, there lying on Sheshna with Lord Brahma coming out of his navel, their devotees, and that beautiful lotus flower holding Lord Brahma there. And so they went there and they pleaded. How did they plead? Let us hear in this very first clip, their devotees, as you have the visual source of you who are blessed with TV Jagrati, their devotees, enjoy. Prince of Roshi Vishnu Bhagwan Ki Chai. Shri Vishnu Bhagavan Ki Jai Ho Dear Devotees As we saw in the clip there and this is taken from the Bhagavat Puran Dear Devotees Bhagavat Mahapuran where it says Varaha Varaha that form of the boar Bhagavan Shri Vishnu he took the form of the boar with the two tusks and we will see why that specific form you see Bhagavan takes a form that suits every situation Kal Desha Samai the time, the place and the circumstances Bhagavan Shri Vishnu takes that avatar accordingly and so Bhagavan Shri Vishnu as you saw there out of the nostril of Lord Brahma this very tiny Varaha, this very tiny boar came out there, devotees holding all weapons, just like Bhagwan Sri Vishnu, however, a head of a boar with those two tusks. And being very tiny, about the size of a thumb, coming out of the nostril of Lord Brahma, he began to grow very, very large in size, and to the size of the elephant, then to the size of a mountain, and so it's a very, very gigantic size. In the Vayu Puran, it describes that Varaha is ten yojans in width and a thousand yojans in height, dear devotees, in that he is large as a mountain, blazing like the sun, dark like the rain, 
cloud, he has a dark, like a rain cloud in complexion. His tusk is very white, sharp and fearsome. His body, the size of space between earth and the sky. His tremendous roar was very frightening. And so Hirnaksh knew that he had competition. He had someone who can rival with him. Their devotees, because there was no one else, their devotees. When he heard that roar, he began to cut as we say, their devotees. In an instant, his mane is so fiery and fearsome that Varun Devata, the Lord God of the waters, requested Varaha to save him from it. Varaha to save him from that demon their devotees. And Varaha, he complied and he went into that waters their devotees to save Bhumi Mata. We all know that Bhagavan Sri Vishnu has every special place in his heart for Devi Bhumi Mata, Mother Earth their devotees. And whenever she is in trouble, Bhagavan Sri Vishnu, he comes himself to save her their devotees. And so their devotees, as Bhumi Mata was being taken under the waters with that Hirnaksh, their devotees, Varaha, he went and they put on a very, very severe battle between righteousness and unrighteousness, dharma and adharma. There's always a battle, their devotees. However, in every situation, which is the one that always wins? Even in our movies, we have most of the times you will see that the good side always win even from the old westerns you know you have the good guys the bad guys and the good guys always win win this situation they devoted they always triumphant as hard and as many triumphs they were many obstacles they would get in their eight way at the end of the day, they are victorious. And what happened next, what ensued next, their devotees, as this form of the boar fought with Hiranaksh. Let us see in our next video. Prince Guru Shri Vishnu Bhavani Ki Jai Ho. Prince Guru Shri Vishnu Bhavani Ki Jai Varaha Ki Jai Ho, their devotees, Bhagavan Shri Vishnu. He takes the avatar according to the time, place and circumstance and so in this case he took that form of the boar their devotees and out of the murky red water their devotees of that blood from that great war that it had that battle between Hirnaksh and Varaha their devotees Bhagavan Shri Vishnu in that form of Varaha he came out with Bhumi Mata on the tusk and that's a very famous picture that you all will see Bhagavan Sri Vishnu with the head of the boar with the tusk holding Bhumi Mata holding Mother Earth in her in his tusk their devotees and so he took her back and put her back in her respective place you see the position of the earth in the solar system we will all understand that is in a specific place because if it is too close to the sun, we will die. If it is too far from the sun, we will also die. And so planet Earth is so well placed that Bhagavan Sri Vishnu placed planet Earth back in her position, dear devotees, so that life will continue, creation will continue. So dear devotees, Bhagavan Sri Vishnu in a very special form of Varaha, he we saw the, all the devatas praised him, their devotees, and he returned back to that form of the tongue, from his very large form, back into the form of the tongue, and back into the nostril of Lord Vishnu, um, Brahmaji, their devotees. And so, Bhagavan in that form, he is said to be very specific in what he symbolizes for us their devotees and so we need to take some time out now to understand what does this form of the boar some may say how can you pray to a boar how can you pray to bhagwan in the form of a boar you see their devotees that specific that varaha avatar has these meanings their devotees there's a very beautiful shloka that says namo namaste kila mantra Devata Dravayaya Sarva Kratave 
Priyatmani, and their devotees in that path of Ishrogra, as Bhagavan Sri Vishnu says, Hail, we say, Hail to you who represent your person, all of the mantras employed, and deities worship, and the materials as well as the offerings of yajna of sacrifice and well as as well as all the sacrificial acts and other activities their devotees bhagwan in that form he represents your yajna your yajnas their devotees it says in the vishnu puran puran that varaha represents yajna that he represents that sacrifice as an eternal upholder of the earth. You see, when you perform your yajnas, when you perform your havans, their devotees, it helps to uphold the earth. This is why it is said when you have that yajnas and you have that baby, which is a triangular, and you have that square with the triangle on top on all the flags on the various corners etc they all form part of that form of varaha their devotees it continues to say his feet represents the vedas themselves the scriptures his tusk represents the sacrificial stakes his teeth are offerings his mouth is the altar with the tongue of sacrificial fire his hair on his head donates the sacrificial grass, like the kush grass, do grass, etc. The, his eyes represents the day and night. His coarse hair, his head represents the seat of the Brahmin, the priest where the Baba sits. The mane represents the hymns of the Vedas, the various mantras, etc. His nostrils are for the obligations, uh, oblations that are offered. His joints represent the various ceremonies. His ears are said to indicate the rights of voluntary and obligatory that we have to do, their devotees. Thus, Varaha is the embodiment of the Supreme Being who brings order amongst chaos in the world. In this way, he represents that yajna, that sacrifice, their devotees. And so we see how very special Varaha is in our life, their devotees. He is the yajna, that yajna, that baby, and where the pundit sits, and everything that we do, the sacrificial fire, when you have your yajnas, that is Varaha. As he, that upholds the earth, their devotees, as he did when he saved her from Hirnaksh. Prince of Shri Vishnu Bhagwan Ki Jai Ho. So, there you go. Bhagwan Shri Vishnu comes in all these forms. And we know him specifically as Das Avatar, the 10 major forms. So, before we started the program with the Sodash Nam, 16 very auspicious names. And Bhagwan has 24 main forms and he has many, many other avatars and many other forms. However, we all know him in the 10 major forms known as Das Avatar and Varaha is also there as one of those 10 avatars. Very good. So if you enjoy this beautiful shlok, you can raise the volumes in your your homes and your radios and your TVs once again as we prepare ourselves next week Wednesday to celebrate Varaha Jayanti. Bless your homes as we bless with the near ten names of Das Avatar once more. There you go. Prem Sauroshi Vishnu Bhagavan Ki Jai Ho. Welcome back to Surya Day with your Shri Pandashiva Janak Maharaj. Today we have discussed the Katha of Varaha Jayanti, which is on next week Wednesday, Day devotees. Right before we begin our Ganesh Utsav celebration, we celebrate once again one of the Das Avatar of Bhagwan Shri Vishnu, as we just heard all the beautiful names there of Bhagwan Sri Vishnu and Dash Avatar and some short kathas on them in that last selection as you blessed your home. So dear devotees, remember that Varaha represents your yajnas. When you perform your yajnas, the yajnas upholds the earth. This is what Varaha represents, dear devotees. He upholds the earth. He is your yajna, dear devotees. And so dear devotees, on Thursday, next week Thursday, we will join you 
or Katha for Ganesh Chi Utsav, their devotees. Ganesh Utsav that is celebrated so very largely here in Trinidad and Tobago and around the world. And so we invite you especially to the Amar Jod Krishna Mandir where we will start our Ganesh Utsav celebration. We'll have our Yatra, their devotees of another Yatra with the Murti on Ganesh Jayanti Day. As we know, that's a Madhyam celebration, a midday celebration, and so we'll have that, that circumambulation of the village with the Murti starting from around 10 a.m. from the home of the Bridge Lal family in Aruka. You can call us to find out some more information. You can message me on Facebook and I urge you to follow Suryo Day on YouTube as well and on Facebook. So there you go. We'll have the Nagar Yatra and the Astapanin of the Ganesh Ji Murti devotees on the 24th Ganesh Jayanti Madhyam between 10 and 1 we'll have that all ceremony of the pujas and etc. And their devotees from the following night no readings will happen on the 24th for obvious reasons as we all know that's one of the nights that you do not look at the moon their devotees. So readings will start from the 25th, where your surely will be officiating on the first night, Friday the 25th of August. On Sunday the 26th, we'll have Pandit Yogesh Maharaj, our very senior Pandit Ji from Kirap. We'll also have on Sunday the 27th, Pandit Anand Vijay Vyas, their devotees, will be officiating. Pandit Sunish Tota Maharaj will be on Monday 28th of August. Pandit Vinesh Maharaj will be on Tuesday 29th of August. And on the 30th of August, we'll make our way to a very large review. You should go on Facebook and see our videos at the Amar Jod Krishna Mandir Facebook page. Beautiful celebration, large celebration where we go to Manzalena Beach, the Manzalena Resort. We leave the temple at 7.30 a.m. on Wednesday the 30th as we make our way. That is one of the Visarjan days and we make our way there for to do our Ganeshi Visarjan. So seek your blessings, your devotees, come out. Celebrate with us Ganesh Utsav as you join with us at the Amarjot Krishna Mandir on the compound of the Five Rivers Hindu School, First Street Five Rivers Aruka. You can message me on Facebook as I said, I'll give you direction. There are directions also on the Mandir's Facebook page, Krishna Dat Mandir, their devotees, Facebook.com slash Krishna Dat Mandir. You'll get all the information that you need, their devotees, as you even hear the invitation here on radio and TV Jagriti. Come along, join with us, join with all your various Mandirs celebrating your Ganesh Ji Jayanti and your Ganesh Utsav, their devotees, as we bless our children especially as they go on their way back to school the following week. Prince Roshi Ganesh Bhagavan Ki Jai Ho. So dear devotees, remember, we, as we leave you today, we pray, O oh Lord, lead us from the unreal to the real. Lead us from the darkness of ignorance to the light of knowledge and lead us from mortality to immortality. Please bless us with peace, Peace and more peace. Om Asatoma Sadgamya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamya Mrityorma Amritam Gamya Om Shantihi Shantihi Shantihi